All right, crypto knots, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I figured we all would watch the decline, the correction, the correction of the crypto market. What is going on? Why has it been stable or holding at high 40s for a month? And now, boom, things are dropping out. What is happening and why is it happening? And what can you do about it, if anything? I don't know. Who knows? But first, let's get rid of the Rocco Taco logo. Let me get rid of that. Transition you out. Here we go. Look at that, folks. Look at that. A sea of red. It's a beautiful picture, folks. It is beautiful. Anyway. Yeah. So at times like this, I remind myself and I remind others, it's a big club out there. It's a big financial club. And guess what? You ain't in it. If you're watching me or anyone else on YouTube, we're not in this club. We're just we're just little minions running around going, maybe I'll get a piece of this pie or a crumb that falls. We're not part of this club. Someone is controlling this. This is going down for a reason. There's reasons, there's triggers, there's events that's happening by design, by plan to make it go back down. So why? So the big financial boys who missed it, who missed out on the lower prices can buy in for their clients. Because you got these older, these older firms, legacy firms, who thought it was a joke. But I want you guys to be the critical thinker because there's so much crap on YouTube. And it's a lot of information that doesn't even make sense. It's not even information. It's just I'm watching one today and they bring out their trading view graphs and their lines or trend line analysis or data analysis. And I'm just going, guys, stop it. You're mad. You're insane. You have no idea what you're doing. You're just it's just like um, tarot card reading or you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know what the price is going to go up or down. Or, and I like what they say. It's going to go. It could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. And the best one is it could go it could go backwards. And I laugh and went, I'm out. You guys, you're you're nuts. You're you're doing it for clicks, obviously. You're doing it for views. You're doing it for hopium or shock value. It's ridiculous. Just stop watching these guys on YouTube. I watch them, I laugh. And don't even watch me. I do this for fun. I'm not even monetized. I mean, come on. Even if I was monetized, YouTube would pay me a penny for a billion views. It's not even worth the money you make on YouTube. But my point here is this is entertainment. This is for fun. I'm making jokes of people, I'm making light of it. Uh, this is from my experience. It's not financial advice. And disclaimer. So don't go out and say, I told you to do something because right there, I just told you this is for fun. So when you watch these idiots on YouTube, don't listen to them. Just laugh. Do your own due diligence. Look at the stuff I'm going to show you and say, hmm, why is that? Always ask questions. All right. So let's watch the sea of red, 43. My strategy, I told you before, is dollar cost average in all the way every week, and then you ride these ups and downs out. Crypto is volatile. Volatility can be good. In most cases, it's good for crypto. I don't know. And I think the reason is the prices are going down so the big boys can buy in. It's obviously manipulated. And here is why. Bitcoin tanked after the Fed minutes were released. Here is why. So get this. These Fed fools had a meeting on December 13th. Uh, 14th and 15th, this meeting was held December 14th, 15th. Why did they release the minutes on the 5th of January? Why couldn't they release them the 17th or 18th or 19th or 20th of December? Reason is holiday, Christmas. People don't really care. They're not going to read the news or give, it, give, a, give any interest to it. So they wait till Christmas is over and people are back at work hating life and they can read this and then freak out. And it's all by plan. Come on. It's all by plan. Look how they time this. It's just obvious. Use your critical thinking skills, folks. Why would they do that? It's all to manipulate you and get you in the fear so you can sell. <clears throat> you can sell your crypto and help drive the price down so the big boys can come in and buy more for their, uh, or get in and buy more for their clients. Uh, let's see. Higher interest rates and tighter financial conditions are designed to prevent inflation from spiraling further. I honestly think because government's been lying to everybody about, oh, it's only 3 or 4%. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then normal people who understand economics 101 and can add 1 plus 1 is 2, go, you guys are lying. It's 14, 15%. You're just lying. You're manipulating the data. And that seems to be what the norm is today with the news and other people is manipulation of data and spewing it out there for people just to go, oh, okay. It must only be okay. And then, I don't know. Then you got these guys coming out saying, we're going to try to control it. I think they lost control of it. I just think it's spiraling out of control. So that's why they use this word spiraling. Pick up on those indicators, those selectors. If Bitcoin and other cryptos aim to be viewed as true alternative assets, they will need to start performing that way. 
So far, the markets are treating them like speculative, speculative high growth bets, vulnerable to the same financial conditions now pushing tech stocks into a tailspin. That is my question too. Why is Bitcoin tied to the Fed when all this crypto stuff is supposed to be decoupled for any of that stuff? So it makes you wonder what is going on? Again, question, please question this. Why? What's going on? Why did the news come out on January 5th when a meeting was held last month? Why all of a sudden everything's tanking? Uh, da, 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 da. First mover, Asia, Bitcoin falls below for the 4K after Fed minutes release. At the time of running Bitcoin, the old script currency was trading at 443 43.4, down 5.8. I think it's down below that. 43.1, baby. Oh, you are, we are witnessing it live time. Did you see that drop to 43.0? We might sit here and watch this go be 43. I don't know. And I don't know if I said this yet, but this also reminds me of the sayings, the, the wealthy, the successful, like, um, they leave clues to their success. They leave tips. Time in the market beats timing the market. Just dollar class to average over time, get your long-term gains, and don't worry about it. You try to time this thing, you're going to go nuts. Uh, you know, volatility crypto is, is, is by nature crypto. It's up and down. It's, up. it's the plus of crypto sometimes. It can benefit you. Uh, the other thing is when people are in fear and people are selling, that may be the time to buy. This is what these people who are successful say, and the sayings have been around for a long time. So... Something else to put in your wheelhouse to research and do your own, uh, your own thinking on. Don't listen to me. I'm just putting out what I heard, what I read, my experience. And I always remember that when stuff like this happens. All right, let's get off this. That's a dominance thing. Let's go back. So here, now we have Goldman Sachs, a big player. They say Bitcoin can compete with gold as a store of value. Uh, this has been talked about for the past year, so I don't know why they're all of a sudden coming out saying it. Again, it goes to my theory that they want their pushing the price of crypto down so they can jump on board with their clients, get in at the 40s or 30s, and boom, this thing will shoot up to 100,000. That's my guess. That's my hunch. Otherwise, why would they be wasting time talking about this unless they're either scared of it or they know there is potential for it to go to 100K or more, right? That's my guess. Bitcoin dips as dominance over Ethereum shrinks. I've seen this before in 2018. Bitcoin was obviously a big boy, the dominant player per market share and market cap. And uh, it kind of loses that when the market goes down and Ethereum catches up. And I think down here they should talk about, here it is, Bitcoin dominance declines. I see Ether, Ethereum, I mine it, I actually hate the fee part of it. I think if you have normal investors come in and say, wait, I got to spend, I have a thousand bucks and I have to move it to my other wallet and it's going to cost me 900 bucks? Are you freaking kidding me? And it's going to turn people off. The fees are horrible, Ethereum is horrible. And when they go to proof of stake or whatever it is, I think they're going to lose a lot of fanboys and a lot of, uh, you know, people cheering on like miners in that. They're going to say, I don't need you anymore. Screw it. Let's go on to something else. We're going to mine and make that the new favorite coin. You know, you never know. I'm just not a big fan of Ethereum. I, it is what it is. And I'm mining it to make money. And that's where I'm out on it. And even the exchanges hate it, too, because they stopped BlockFi and some other exchanges have stopped giving out free withdrawals on Ethereum tokens and network stuff because... The fees are ridiculous, and they're losing money when they're giving out freebies because they're eating the cost. So there we go. The sea of red. Again, entertainment advice is I'm in for the long term. My dollar cost average in. Uh, look at the other stories. Do your own cognitive thinking on what's going on and why is it going on. Again, it's big club. You're just along for the, you know, you're not in it, but you're going to be uh, along for the ride and maybe get some crumbs if you kind of observe the patterns of what's happening. Uh, yeah. You have no control over this stuff. Nobody knows why. And when you watch these guys on YouTube with their trend, uh, trading view, trend line analysis stuff, just go, come on. You don't know what's going to happen. Everyone was saying 100000 in October. And, uh, Bob, you're going to be rich. Uh, it's like, no, just stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. Turn those channels mm -hmm. off. They're, unless you're going to just go laugh at them. Because you got like five guys on this panel talking about crypto, Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. The, here's my trading view thing. And I'm just watching one today going, Oh, you guys got a million subscribers. Wow. I weep for, the, I weep for America. <laughs> Public school has ruined a lot of people's ability to think on their own. Little update. What do we got? 43087. I think it's going to drop to the 43, folks. And we are, we are where are we? What, I don't know what date it is. The 6th. We are sitting at the 6th of January, 2022, baby. And it may go to the 43. Who knows? Anyway. What do you think? Keep your eyes on it. If it's too much for you guys to handle, you shouldn't be in it.
Don't risk more than you can lose. All those things are true. Write them down. Timing, the market, no good. Time in the market beats time in the market. If people are panic selling. You may want to be looking to buy. Dollar cost averaging. Uh, don't look at the price every day. If you believe in the coin, if you believe in Bitcoin or whatever you bought, just buy it and forget about it. You know, check every year. Who knows? We'll find out. I'm just going to keep mining. I need, I'm just going to stack coins because if it's down and I'm getting Bitcoin at 40000 and it goes up to 100000 all right, that's not a bad thing. If I eat some electricity cost during the bear run, I don't care. I'll make that back hundredfold. When things go to the moon, point being, what can you do about it? I gave you my philosophy on things. Entertainment value. Go take it for what it is. Uh, you, bottom line, you have no control over this. If you're in it, you're in it. And uh, you just got to ride it out, right? Or, or sell. Who knows? I'm just riding it out. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, go forth and do great things. Don't sweat over this crap. All right, take care. I am.